Fury, he landed in Vegas not too long ago, uh, and you know it's, it's starting to wind down. I mean, I just want to know who do who are you having that fight, man? I mean, if you do, you have a pick. I mean, what, what do you think is gonna happen in that fight, the Fury Wilder? Three? Well, you know, you know, it's it's kind of hard for me to tell. Uh, uh, the Fury probably go try to do the same thing he did last time, and Joshua. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, Fury and, and Wilder. You know, Fury's gonna try to fight Wilder probably the way he did last time. Huh. And while I have to make those adjustments, now whether he's able to make those adjustments, I don't know. You know, that's a, that's a way you see thing. But the same way as as a Wilder, you know, Wilder has to make adjustments that he didn't do last time. You know, he he came out last time, and he just didn't look right from the very beginning. And I think Fury saw that, and that's why he jumped right on top of him. I don't know if that's going to work for him this time, but you know it's a wait and see thing. You know the thing about it is, you know you see a lot of videos of them, everybody's training and this and that, and you know, but you know just from the things you see, you know, I I I don't know, you know, but but from the rumors that's been out there that that Fury was getting knocked out in in training, you know, his last camp before. He supposedly had COVID, you know, hmm. I don't know. So, but you know, look, anytime you find Deontay Wilder, he has a punch that, you know, he can hit you with that right hand and knock you out. So he always has that, that's, that's gonna always be there. But if he goes in like he did last time, just looking for one punch, then he's gonna be in trouble again. So. You know, he has to really use his jab and he has to keep Fury out balance and th- throwing combinations. And I think he has a chance to knock him out. Hmm. I mean, anything's possible. Can he actually, have you seen that? Like a, a total change in, in about six months? Have you seen something yeah, like absolutely, that? Absolutely, absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, look, man, you know, uh, you know, it, it, that's why it's called training. That's why you train. And it seems like Walter's been training a lot. You know, and you know, with with his training on Malik Scott, you know, I see they're doing a lot of things, but you know, still, you know, you have to have, you know, you have to have the right ingredients in order to win, in order to take the confidence away from a guy like Tyson Fury. You know, Fury's a big guy. He's not the strongest guy in the world, but he's a big guy. But he knows how to use his weight, and. Is Wilder going to make the adjustment with Fury lean on him? Is he going to make the adjustment to get out of the way and know how to get away, you know, from Fury to, you know, not let him uh, put put his weight on him? You know, this is things you have to practice in the gym. And, you know, they're not showing anything, which you're not, they're not supposed to. They're not showing how he's going to get away from Fury when Fury start leaning on him. You know, what, what, what is he going to do? You know, so, you know, it's a lot of things they have to take into account. You know, you just can't go in there and say, oh, I'll reach with the right hand and it's going to be all over. No, it's, it's more than that. You know, it's going to take, it's, it's going to take a lot of training and a lot of preparation for him to do the right things in order to combat what Fury is going to do to him. You know, Fury... You know, on his end, he, he can't go in thinking that he's fighting the same guy. You know, he has to make adjustments also. And the, the good thing about boxing is nobody knows what the other guy is going to do until you get in there. So I mm-hmm. think whoever has the best game plan is going to win. Can you give me a pick, man? I know he's hard to, you know, like doing that. I, 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 I want to hear what you think, man. Well, no, it's, uh, I'm not going to pick on this one. Oh, uh, okay. Because, you know, because... You know, and the reason I said I'm not going to pick because, mm-hmm. you know, look, Wilder, if he can get close enough to throw the right hand, and if he lands, he got to land it. If he lands the right hand, it could be a long night for Fury. But if Wilder can catch him early, you know, that's great for him. But if he sits back and don't jab at all and look for just a one punch, he's, he's going to get stopped again. 
it would be a long night because yeah, it seems like Fury kind of been timing that or he's been working on that. That that the yeah, scene but, that I mean, but still, you know, he knows this fight. Wad is going to make some adjustments. Yeah, and, you know, and so he has to make that adjustments also. You know, so you know that's the great thing about the sport of boxing. Is when you get in that ring, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how the other guy's going to come out. You don't know anything, and so whoever imposes they will first, I think has has the best chance to win the fight. 